Most terror groups thrive on propaganda, inflammatory speeches, training videos, you know the drill. Tonight we want to show you one such video, not for the content, but for the details. It was released by the PAFF, the People's Anti-Fascist Front. They are a terrorist group operating out of Jammu and Kashmir. Reports say it is a shadow group of the jaish e mohammed so another Pakistani proxy. And this is their latest propaganda video. Ignore the rest of it, just focus on the weapons. Focus on the guns that they're carrying. Do they look too advanced for terrorists? Well, they should, because these are American rifles. The M249 light machine gun, the FN509 tactical guns, the M1911 pistols, and the M4 carbine rifles. All of these weapons are used by the American army. So how did these terrorists get them? From Afghanistan. We knew this would happen. The Americans abandoned hundreds of weapons in their hurry to leave. Rifles, pistols, grenades, even Humvees and helicopters. Millions of dollars worth of military equipment was left behind. And what did the Taliban do with it? They kept some for their own use and the rest they gave to their neighbor, Pakistan. It really is a simple transaction. The Taliban sell to Pakistan's deep state and the deep state hands them over to terrorists in Kashmir. Let me give you an example from last month. Six foreign terrorists were killed by the Indian security forces. All of them were carrying American weapons, specifically the M4 carbine rifles. And this is serious firepower. Almost 60 countries use the M4 carbine rifle. It has been called one of the defining arms of the 21st century. It is the staple of most US soldiers and now of Pakistan-backed terrorists. They're not even trying to hide this exchange, by the way. In fact, it looks like they're showing off. Close-ups, slow motions. This propaganda video is not just about their military drills, it's about their arsenal to show India that they have powerful American weapons. We're not talking about one or two guns, we're talking about tens of thousands of them. According to some reports, around 600,000 small arms were left behind in Afghanistan, 600,000. This includes rifles, machine guns, pistols and grenade launchers. Plus, you have the surveillance tech, radios, night vision goggles, drones. These weapons are perfect for the, these terrorists. It suits their type of warfare. So the government of India is planning an upgrade of their own. The police in Jammu and Kashmir are getting new weapons. The Sig Sauer rifles and pistols, again, American made. No other police force in India uses these weapons. So the thinking is clear. If the terrorists are getting new arms, India too must upgrade. And by the way, none of this is surprising. The first Taliban regime did the exact same things. They hosted Pakistani terrorists. They trained them and helped push them into Jammu and Kashmir. This time, there's a sweetener. Cutting edge American weapons, that's what they've got. These weapons could complicate the fight against terrorism. Let me tell you how. In 2020, reports said Pakistani terrorists were running short of weapons. Around 426 arms were seized that year. But more importantly, many operations reported no weapon recovery. So the number of attacks and infiltrations came down. Now, thanks to America, the terrorists have a new war chest a buffet of guns and technology to choose from. The question is, will this tie-up be limited to weapons? Because the last time it wasn't. In the 1990s, Afghan terrorists joined the terror front in Kashmir. They sent men and money. This time, the Taliban have promised to not interfere, but we've heard enough promises from the Taliban in the last five months. Trusting them is not an option for India. Preparation is going to be key. Weon is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.